Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Just a quick little introduction. If you're seeing this, it means you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. And right now we're not making any money from these platforms. So if you love the show and want to support us, please listen instead on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Podcast Addict, or any other audio streaming app like this. It would be awesome. And it's not just about the revenue, it also helps boost our numbers. Uh, which also helps in the long run. Anyway, thanks for watching, and the show will start now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new Rezum episode. Uh, I don't know, 25 maybe? I, I, I don't know, I really don't know. Uh, but today is a special episode. If you listened already to episode 10, you already know what it's about because we're doing basically the same thing. Except with a little difference, today's show is hosted by Lisa and Giles. I, for a change, Yay. will be on the other side of the mic as a contestant where I will be uh, battling against the admin from Virtual Experiences who already was on this very podcast two years ago for, well, it's a show where we have questions and I'm, I, I, I'm not going to be hosting anyway, so I'm going to let Giles and Lisa do the talking. Um, I just want to say that... Um, ah, fuck, I forgot what I wanted to say. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I okay. I've I have ah oh shit. I have prepared a thing, and um, <laughs> this is oh this is so typical. This is so fucking typical, typical. Frenchie. Uh, typical fucking Frenchie. <laughs> so maybe I will add it at editing. Maybe I will remember it during the show. I don't uh, know, but I'm gonna let. As I said, Lisa and Giles do the hosting, as I will be today just a normal contestant. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. This uh, game show is called Are You Smarter Than a Shit Poster? Well, hello, co-host Giles. Hello. Hey, are you ready to <laughs> rock this stuff? Yes, I'll be completely improvising what I think, what what oh, kind of task that this you, will be. You haven't written your um your no, facts I've got I've got all my yet. questions. Oh. Yeah, I've got all my facts. That's all right. So uh, right now I'm copying and pasting them into order so that they are grouped together. I just I just had our raw list of information so <laughs> right now presently i'm trying to put them together <laughs> to where they uh they well, make good little groups yeah um i'm i'm, I'm really uh, bad at hosting I like uh, okay. in general I, th I think do you want me well, to be well, dom do you want me to be dom host and yeah. you can be sub host <laughs> yes All right. that'd be perfect Okay, contestants. Well, we're going to see if you are smarter than each yourselves cuz you are the, <laughs> you are the shit posters and uh, the rest I'm of the world. Right oh, you're not? What are what are you? John, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a quality poster. You're a quality <laughs> poster. <laughs> <laughs> and so well, uh, to answer your question Lisa I know I'm definitely not as smart as myself okay <laughs> John are you as smart as uh, Nelson I don't even know who I am okay mm, mm. well there you go it's <laughs> hard to know what anybody else is if you don't even know who you are I don't know I've, I've been banned and he hasn't so he's probably smarter he, okay. Well, he is a shit poster for real. So. I'm I'm just sneakier. I think I'm better at <laughs> stealth. <laughs> stealth poster. Yeah. Stealth it's the, poster. It's living with rats for ten years. You you. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Sneaky. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> you are you are whoever you spend the most time around. It's a that's a principle <laughs> in the law of attraction. Um, yeah, that I'm, that uh, thing. So, according to the law of attraction, you are a rat. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like a uh, solid snake, but um, like a uh, shitty snake. <laughs> that would be my... Uh, I'm, I'm shitty snake. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> shitty shitter, shit poster snake. Um, okay. Uh, huh? For the old people listening at home, it's a reference to a video game called Metal Gear Solid. I'm not sure if it still exists or not, <laughs> so the kids probably don't know about it either. But uh, if you're like the same age as us, it's funny. Yeah, uh, I and love I, Metal Gear Solid. I pretend I know Solid what you guys are talking about, even though I don't play video games. So. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 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 We've, we've it's come up before. That's just always gonna be the situation. All right. Um, well, so, what do you do with your spare time? Do you? bake and stuff as well well i go on hikes i form yeah. deep connections with other human beings oh, I, that'll be yay. That'll um be yeah I, <laughs> I take naps i meditate i uh you know um go on 5 a.m walks i journal i read sounds like a full life yeah <laughs> My job in one of them. Um, for the people listening at home, that was a reference to Half Life, a video game from 1998. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you've got your questions all lined up, Lisa, mm -hmm. um, maybe um, we should take in turns round by round. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Giles, you want to kick us off? Sure. So, three facts will be read. All three are claimed to be facts. However, one is in fact not true. And you have to guess the false one. My, my first round centers around frogs. So, if you're ready, fact number one. A painkiller with 200 times the power of morphine has been found in the skin of a frog. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fact number two. A frog completely sheds its skin about once a week, which it usually then eats. And fact number three, the longest frog jump was measured at 55 feet or in the metric system, 16 meters. Huh. That's tough because they all sound fake. So <laughs> you done a good job. That, uh, that's yeah, that, that's the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. What was number two again? A frog completely sheds its skin about once a week, which it usually then eats. Mm, I don't buy that. Hmm. All right, we got a we got an answer. Um, um, John. So I am going to go with the first one because two hundred times stronger than morphine sounds unrealistic. So. Um, the yeah the, the shedding skin a lot of animals do that and the jumping i mean frogs are really good at jumping so i guess like maybe it's if it's jumping from a tree or something like this um yeah i'm, <laughs> go I'm gonna go with the first one i'm gonna go with the the painkiller okay well it's uh fact number three was made up by me oh um what the longest frog jump is is actually around 33 feet Okay. Or ten meters. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we both, <laughs> so we both have zero zero points. That's a good start. Uh, Wait. Not all of my made up facts are like just just a slight change of number, but I tried to make it like ridiculous. Thanks. Sixteen meters is like ridiculous yeah, yeah, in, in yeah, my yeah. brain. Yeah, that that is that is a lot. Um, <laughs> which which one of us is keeping score here? Um, I've got a score going. I'll, oh, I can thank work on that. God. <laughs> You've been awake the longest of any of us, Giles. So. Mm, mm. Wait, what yeah. time is it for you, Giles? It's 8.20 uh, p.m. In Australia? Yeah. Jeez. He's had a whole day already. Yeah. In, in which city in Australia are you? I'm in central Victoria, uh, oh, so cool. Melbourne is the closest city. Yeah, I've got a lot of friends in Australia. Mm. But they don't shit post. <laughs> really? They're, they're, they're what someone would call a normie. Huh. Ah. Normies. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few I, I don't really know why I call them my friends, but... <laughs> <laughs> why do you call them your friends? Well, you know, I, I spent 
a prolonged period of time with them outside. Um, uh, so I guess they're my friends. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's a uh, low bar for friendship. But... <laughs> you, you, grew, you grew up with them. You no, were no, I, with them. Oh. I, I, I worked in Canada, and uh, in Canada, there's a lot of Australians. There's probably more Australians. Mm-hmm. Than this is maybe. true. Yeah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> And they're, Didn't they're, know that. They're all there in their hordes, and I made friends with them. Huh. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Cause, cause nice. When you said a long it's time, a nice story. when you said a long time in my mind, I pictured like a, a whole afternoon or something like this. But actually, it was oh, day, yeah. day after day after day. Okay, that's uh, that's a bit different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, a wonderful first round. Uh, <laughs> And this now, it now passes on to Lisa. Take All it right. Away. Thank you, Giles. Um, I decided to make my first round about uh, animals, not just uh, animals that are not frogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, fact number one, chickens are the largest animal population with vertebrae on Earth. Two, you are more likely to get attacked by a cow than eaten by a shark. Three, according to British law, the queen owns all unclaimed swans in England. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, I, I know that the third one is true. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who's watched Hot Fuzz knows that. <laughs> yeah, oh. Exactly. I, it's been a while. I didn't realize that fact was in Hot Fuzz. So I also know the second one is true because cows yep. are really pissed off yep. all the time. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, like, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I grew up in a countryside shithole between a farm and another farm and a big load of nothing. So I've met my fair share of cows and they can be really intimidating. Yes, oh, and, yes. I, and yeah. I also know that shark attacks are extremely rare. Like really, really rare. It, cows do sort of have resting bitch face, though. They sort of they look grumpy or like. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I mean, like. Is it just me. Or? Every pissed off mm-hmm. vegan defends cows. I would. <laughs> I would want a fucking vegan defending me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a cow run towards you? Because that that can be frightening. <laughs> it's that, not oh, that would that would terrify. It's, not, it's normally about fifty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that that happened to me a few times when I was a kid, and it's uh, it's it's quite frightening. Yeah. So uh, th- here, it's definitely the first. I know that the chicken is the most uh, has the biggest population amongst birds. That's for sure. But when it comes to vertebrates. I'm sure there are more like mice or stuff like this than there are chickens. So definitely the first one is the fake one. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm the same. All right. Well, yeah, I guess that was pretty transparent. Uh, <laughs> bristlemouth fish are the largest animal population with vertebrae. Oh. There are there are 24 billion chickens on Earth, but bristlemouths are in the hundreds of trillions, possibly quadrillions. No one's really sure. Um, huh. and yeah, and this is, of course, most of the facts I find are U.S. centric, but 20 people in the U.S. die each year in cow related attacks and accidents. An average of one per year dies of a shark attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. There you go. I like that you've got like a bit of information about the facts you chose. I <laughs> might not have much to say about the stuff I chose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Giles. That means one point, one point to both contestants. Well done. Yay. You're still tied. Yep. So round. Th- life. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, round three. It's like, a, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a BDSM themed uh, game show. We got the dumb host mm-hmm. and the sub host and we are tied. <laughs> yep. I, I take the ball gag out of my mouth when it's my turn to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very uh, edgy and sexy show. Yeah. That's what we do here. Definitely. <laughs> so 
So round three is the dog round. So <laughs> most of my stuff is about animals. Okay. This is this is the dog round. Here we go. Nice. Fact number one. Kiki the Afghan hound was a dog that knew 25 words and could respond to basic questions. Mm. Fact number two. Three dogs survived the Titanic sinking. Fact mm. number three. Thirty percent of Dalmatians are deaf in one ear. Um, huh. I'm gonna um, have to guess on this one because I have yeah. no ID. That's <laughs> oh, just pretty good. Charles is really good at writing these. I, I think <laughs> the third one's false. All right, third one. Yeah. Um, like the second one is the most believable because. Three dogs surviving the Titanic. Maybe they put them like on the lifeboats or something. Maybe they swam. That would be They're... probably the only way they survived. Yeah. Yeah, but dogs are pretty good at swimming, so I don't. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is the most believable of all three. Can you repeat the first one, please? Kiki the Afghan Hound was a dog that knew twenty-five words and could respond to basic questions. In what language? English. <laughs> <laughs> in English. Yeah. Okay. The, I I think that's false. Why the fuck would they be speaking English? <laughs> <laughs> um. So since since Nelson created this show, uh, what are your rules about changing <laughs> changing your answer? Oh, okay. Changing well, I'll, your I'll answer. Yeah, no, you can, you, can, you can change your answer until it's like okay, the final right. answer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. First okay. First oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely um, change your answer at the last minute. Um, <laughs> until the um, answer's been revealed. Until the host says, is that your final answer? Uh, you know, that's what, I, that's what I did last time. I was like, is that your final answer? Um, and I see, I see. You should remember because you were there. Yeah, I know, I know. It's terrible. Now, now, I'm not one of the contestants, but, like, I just have a thought for you guys about the Titanic. Okay. What about all those ladies that carry around little dogs and purses and shit? I'm pretty sure they had those at the turn of the century. So, just food for, that's what I'm thinking about dogs that survive were, like, with rich ladies inside their little, like, purses. Mm. So, they, they basically survived in a handbag. Yeah. Yeah, like that's a, what I'm... Yeah, um, like a message in a bottle that, that yeah. in the ocean for a thousand years. Well, I, I mean, like, the, the rich lady got onto a lifeboat and then the handbag dog was on her arm the whole time. I guess mm. you could call it a hound bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a very, or very a impressive feat of strength, like surviving all that shit while holding a dog in your arm. Yeah. Mm. Or a doggy bag. I'm, like, did you oh, see the movie? There are like all the all the rich people <laughs> on lifeboats, just like, oh my god, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, they could have been swinging the bag like a weapon to get uh, on the boats. I don't know which movie you're talking about, but I saw the one with the mice and all that shit. <laughs> Ta- I'm talking about Is the movie Titanic. I'm talking about the movie Titanic. Yeah, I saw I saw one of the Titanic movies. Uh, some kind of weird cartoon with mice and shit is that the one you're talking about oh no you're no, talking about I'm the talking about you're talking about the shitty one yeah okay titanic from 1997 yeah. i saw it like 12 times in the theater oh. with my little grade school friends with leonardo like, DiCaprio. yeah mm. uh, oh yeah i see so. has it been that long that like people don't know titanic <laughs> anymore it's a nice movie for like a really long time <laughs> Oh my the god! B movie took over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So we need an answer from Chad Mojito. Um. So so so. Well, I really want to go with the first one, but John picked yeah. it already, and uh, we can we cannot be tied for the whole game. So, <laughs> um, you know what? I'm thinking that it's a bluff, so I'm gonna go with number two, because it's the most believable ones. So maybe that's a kind of poker manipulation tactic. So I'm gonna go with fact mm. number two, the Titanic. Okay, well, 
it was the first fact that I had completely <laughs> made up. Okay. Which was... <laughs> but, uh, but uh, so, the name Kiki, though, that actually comes from a, a gorilla that they taught sign language to. Oh, yeah. No, that was, um, it was called Coco. So, Coco? Yes. No. no. It was called Wait, Coco. Let me just do a quick Google. And it was... Are you on about the, the gorilla that was... The oh, you're the right. Man. It is Coco. There you go. Yeah. That's a, a double bluff. <laughs> yeah, I had a little. I had a little um, uh, picture book called Coco's Kitten about Coco and her pet kitten. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Messing up an okay. <laughs> count as a double bluff. But <laughs> I'll have a point for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can give him. <laughs> I love Wait, it. Two, do you want to give him two points? I, uh, um. Wait, what is what's the situation again? I'm, I'm, give I'm him one, give him one and a half, I guess. One and a half. It's fine. It's fine. I, nice. I don't. I don't <laughs> the uh, yeah, we're playing mostly for fun we're anyway. Gonna, There's we, no yes. prize, so you don't like winning. Right. Is what you're no. trying to tell us? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, winning's cool, but there is more things in life. What? Deep. No, there aren't. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> Yeah, name uh, three of them. And wasn't also that, like the chimpanzee that smoked weed? <laughs> <laughs> which which chimpanzee? Uh, I I believe she, it was called Washu or Washo or something like this, and it was a chimp who who smoked weed and shit. <laughs> that was a, that was kind of at the same time, you know, the seventies, uh, where scientists done all the weird animal research. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I have seen though. Uh, I think it was on YouTube or whatever. A dog that uh, learned to to talk, kinda like uh, their their um, her uh, owners made some kind of. Do you know DDR? You know what DDR is? Ram dance, 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 revolution. dance, 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 revolution. <laughs> and so it was kind of like a large DDR thing, and each square corresponded to a specific word. And when the dog presses uh, the square, the word is like uh, you can hear it through a speaker. So um, yeah, uh, and uh, she started to learn to uh, form sentences after a while like for example uh, th there was one time where she wanted to go to the beach and so, so uh, she pressed big water or something like this uh, it was pretty cool uh, I, I have no idea if it's if it was like real or fake so I'm I'm not gonna say it's a fact but um, yeah that that was that was uh, really cool I I, I want to um, fact check it if i can and the, the, the sad thing is it was it's probably legal for that chimpanzee to smoke weed but <laughs> in england it's illegal as fuck uh, i it's think it fair. was i think it was uh illegal at the time but only for humans um and since it was like scientists doing experiment in a lab they probably should have given that chimp like cocaine or whatever Pete Bowl or Angel Dust. <laughs> I mean, if you can give animals, like, a fucking poison to see whether or not it's safe for humans, you should be able to give them weed. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure All they are. All the time. Smoke it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can give... No question. You can give CBD to rats as far as I know, so... Yeah. Do you treat your rats with CBD? Not yet, but I'm considering it in case one has like some kind of incurable cancer and I want to make them more comfortable. That will mm -hmm. probably be a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And they love wine also. <laughs> oh. Do you get your rats drunk? Yeah, have you ever gone drinking with your rats? Uh, getting a rat drunk is very dangerous because uh, their digestive oh. system is like um, one way contrary to us so they cannot vomit uh, and that can be really dangerous if they get uh, really drunk and they cannot puke uh, it can make them um, really ill if you're drinking a glass of wine and then you're it's empty but there's like half a drop at the bottom of the glass and your rat steals it it's fine. They're gonna be fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, they can have safely up to half a milliliter 
of wine per day, which is like a, which is a really really small uh, quantity. That's like a, a drop, but uh, things are really small. I think it's the um, same for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> really, um, I I thought uh, English people were like drunk all the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, uh, and and high on drugs most of the time. Well. <laughs> you guys can spit, right? You're different than rats. You can like, uh, spit everywhere. You need a spitting yeah. license in the UK. Oh, that's yeah, true. We... Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, we we can spit. License to spit. <laughs> and then the police arrives. They're like, uh, "Hey, can you show me your spitting license, boy?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see you spitting over there. <laughs> Only if you show me your gay card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cops actually have to be gay in order to enact a law over there too, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I believe losing... we're up to round four. What? I keep losing track of my facts. Sorry, I, I control C, <laughs> control Z, and I don't know where my facts <laughs> went. Oh, okay, okay, well, here I, we go, here we go. I just didn't no, remember them correctly. There's this, All right. uh, there's this thing called paragraphs that might help. What? Paragraph. <laughs> have you have you heard of him? No. Tell me more about the good news. No. I'll, let's let, let's do this another day. Cause like, <laughs> have you heard about Jesus Christ? <laughs> yeah. May I interest you in some Jesus Christ? There are paragraphs in the Bible, I believe. Yeah, but that's true. Let's go to the, let's go to the next round. I think. Okay. We'll talk about Jesus later. <laughs> This round is about uh, foods. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, fact number one, you can't eat polar bear meat because it's so high in concentrations of vitamin A, it can kill you. Fact two, the creator of Pringles is buried in a Pringles can. Fact three, an avocado can stay in maturity on a tree for seven months without ripening until after it is picked, so avocados can naturally stay in season year-round. Right. Hmm. Well, first of all, how the fuck are you going to fit a whole human body in a Pringles can? <laughs> <laughs> Cremation, I imagine. Um, and I, and I'm, I'm like, the, this- like the hydraulic press. <laughs> Have you ever yeah. seen the hydraulic <laughs> press channel? Like they, they put they put his body on the chair. Oh. See what happens. <laughs> Maybe he's really, really oh. tiny. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't you can't you can't make fun of me just anymore. It's a hate crime. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you cannot die from a vitamin A overdose. Um. Hmm. So I'm I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I, let you answer think, first and then. Give my the, the the second one it, it is as false as fuck. It is so untrue. <laughs> uh, I've never heard anything as as untrue as that. Actually, I don't know the shit from the English government's quite untrue as well. But hmm. that is just like completely, completely off the scale. <laughs> of, of false. Okay. So first, there is. Almost no vitamin A in meat. People who have been uh, intoxic- intoxicated or poisoned uh, with too much vitamin A, it's almost always by eating liver. There's a lot of animals' livers uh, that contain a very high amount of vitamin A that can kill you quite fast. The second one, uh, I really want to believe it, but. Uh, like it's, it reminds me of Walt Disney, who who had this uh, his body like turned into ice or some shit like this. And, he was a uh, Nazi, you know. Oh yeah, but it was from America, so at the same at the, at that time, everyone was one, Ford and shit. Like it was like it was a, a different era, you know. <laughs> Not being being a Nazi was like you know socially acceptable in some circles of the rich. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like barracking for a sports team or something, but like choosing a race instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about hating the minorities, it's about preserving the purity of, mm. you know, 
the great things they came from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um... I just don't get how people can't hate, hate everyone equally. Mm. Yeah. It would be better, wouldn't it? <laughs> hate everyone equally and then no discrimination. Yeah, well, yeah, more discrimination because your shit is everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess, like, uh, recently I've been watching a few of these tier lists on YouTube. You know what people make that the tier lists? And um, so now I understand. For like fast food stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. So now I understand because ranking shit is like really fun. Mm. <laughs> you have to have your favorite race. Yeah. Oh. Mine's Night Elf. <laughs> Uh, uh, can you repeat the third one, please? Um, an avocado can stay in maturity on a th tree for seven months without ripening until after it is picked, so avocados can naturally stay in season year-round. I know it's the case for potatoes, but avocados are quite hmm. different. Do I, even avocados come from trees? I didn't, I didn't even know that. What does an avocado tree look like? I'm going to look it up after we... They come from vegans. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? Lead them. They're not vegan. To cultivate avocados, you have to use specific bees to pollinate oh, yes. the plants, and the bees live in captivity. So avocados are not vegan because animal labor is used to produce them. Mm. Heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually eat avocado. I bet he said that while eating a steak as well. <laughs> I had to pay a hundred dollars of a copay because of an avocado last month. I was uh, cutting an avocado and I wasn't taking out the pit correctly. I kind of stabbed oh, no. directly into the pit, like oh. like the movie Psycho, and it went through the avocado. And I had to get stitches and uh, thanks oh. to the U.S. healthcare system, I had to pay a hundred dollars for my copay the day before my insurance would have changed it would have been a a, a thousand dollar bill the next day pretty cool right uh i mean yeah but no <laughs> <laughs> so got it right <laughs> <laughs> next time maybe just don't be a pussy and eat the whole thing including the pussy. <laughs> okay so then i won't have a, a choking uh a choking bill, which probably been of higher than a than a stabbing myself bill. I don't know. It'd it be a dentist. It'd be a dentist bill. Like the 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 pit would just destroy your teeth. I think it would just just choke me, and I would be really? like there Are turning the black and blue on the floor. I could have just died of trying to swallow an avocado pit. Oh uh, yeah, black and blue <laughs> could be really uh, you know um, controversial at that time. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, but are avocado pits really that big in the U.S.? Because yeah, uh, it's cute. yeah, it seems totally swallowable. Uh, when I oh no, <laughs> ma ma yeah, I guess we have different good avocado girls, avocado don't pits. different levels avocado of experience. Pits. Yeah, <laughs> not me. Okay, um, so. I'm gonna go for the first one. Okay, you're you're going with uh, polar bears. Yeah, because you cannot uh, you cannot give you cannot get hypervitaminosis by eating meat. It's liver, not uh, actual muscle meat that gives you. Okay, uh, but I'm pretty sure liver constitutes as meat. Oh really? I thought it was awful. Yeah. A waffle. <laughs> yeah, is is that not a, how it's called? Uh, no, like I, liver, liver constitutes I meat. I know it is awful, but I think awful can be meat. Um, maybe oh, this is a shit. romantic thing. Yeah, because <coughs> in France it's not considered as meat. It's uh, a different category. But ah, um, uh, I'm still gonna go with this one because you don't know where my head's at when when composing these questions. Mm, they're pretty convincing this this round. Pretty sure it's no, above. They're, they're not, to be honest. I. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a guess, and I think it's probably above your shoulders. But okay, I thought you were locking. So you're locked in on polar bears. Uh, Don, you're locked in on the Pringles can. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, uh, Nelson, I I did separate meat and liver um it's the liver on the polar bear you can't eat the liver contains enough vitamin a to kill 52 adults yeah. the other meat on the polar bear is fine 
Um, John, the, the creator of Pringles, is buried in a Pringles can. Um, here's the full background. Some of Bauer, uh, the guy who invented the Pringles can is Fred Bauer. So the, some of Fred Bauer's ashes were buried in a Ping Pringles can at his request. Bauer's children said they honored his request to bury him in one of the cans by placing part of his cremated remains in a com Pringles container in his grave in suburban Springfield Township. The rest of his remains were placed in an urn buried along with the can. Does it say Please. what flav flavor can? <laughs> um, I was thinking that as well, actually. Sour cream. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if, if I was to be buried in a Pringles can, that would be a sour, sour cream one. My, I would choose salt and vinegar for sure. For me. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it's, I'm not seeing it right here because I lost the information earlier in that whole copy pasting thing, but they were debating about it uh, while they were there at, um, I think it was like a Walgreens or something, and they ended up picking up original because they're like, come on. Oh, it's got to be original. So. I couldn't think of something worse than dying and then <laughs> buried in an original's. Pringles can. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. If he if he cared, he would have specified. So. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I guess. That's I, I guess you can't really choose when you're dead. But. The the moral of the story is be very specific and detailed in your will <laughs> if you don't want your children making stupid decisions on your, yeah. your behalf. Um, so who who won that round? Uh, that was uh, Nelson who won that round. Point to Nelson. Okay, here we go. This is heating up. <laughs> All right, and if we're ready, yep. let's do the next one. I'm yep. born ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> this round is snails. Snails. Fact number one. A snail can have 25,000 teeth. <laughs> Damn. Fact number two. The slime left behind a snail is used to make incense and is popular in Vietnam. Hmm. I should say can be used to make it. It's not, not all incense is used, is, uh, is made using it. Fact number three, snails in captivity can live up to 25 years old. So that's like snails in the zoo. Yeah. Okay. God, that reminds me of that great meme. I mean, not really a meme, but a, a viral picture that circulated a, a, around the web like a, a year or two ago. Because uh, you know, when you now, when you ask uh, something in Google, there's a, like a, an answer that pops up, you know, uh, and it's based on a specific page or article. And um, like there was this thing for a while with you, if you Googled. Uh, for how long does a snail sleep? The answer was <laughs> three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the funniest. Uh, that was funniest so ever. great. So great. Like, yes, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the answer was like three. It, it, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they were funny, man. They were funny. So there, there was like, a, you know, this meme of the the guy who's in a hospital bed, and there's a doctor or a nurse next to him, like, uh, and and uh, the guy was like, oh, uh, for how long was I sleeping? And uh, and and the the nurse said three, and the guy was a snail, and was like, <laughs> cool. I feel very refreshed right now. <laughs> I, I swear, the people who make them are like the biggest brain people yeah. on the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. They're like they're, they're dudes that live in like 2050. Oh yeah, definitely. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah, still yeah. use dial-up. I have, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't know how to use a computer, <laughs> but, can, but can generate these these great memes. It's Coco. <laughs> It, it, it's Coco and uh, and <laughs> the other one make all this like I would have I wouldn't be the surprised. Afghan hand. I don't know if you've seen a British comedy uh, program called Big Train. No, but it's it's great. There's um it's like a, um, a collection of tiny sketches, um, uh, just bits of comedy. And um, th there's one where it's th there's this um, this dude who's like a, a, a talk show host on the on the radio, or is a host, and 
he he uh, he is starting to talk, and there's like, ah, oh, I, I don't have any puns. I, I don't have enough jokes. And so he goes into into the back rooms of the radio, and there's like a a bunch of children who are, who are like sequestrated there, and they're forced to write jokes all day long. <laughs> <for> radio hosts. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, um, Big Train is really is really great. Uh, it's with um, I like the sound of it. Uh, there's one of the main characters uh, played by Simon Pegg, uh, and uh, yeah, wasn't it wasn't it last time that we talked about sports that were really boring with um, someone? Who did we? Was that the now? Uh, no, hmm. I, I, I was I was asking Giles, who did uh, we interview recently? I I I remember something about saying cricket is the most boring sport. Yeah, uh, golf. <laughs> and so I um I wanted to talk about yeah, big golf's train. Pretty bad. I wanted I wanted to talk about big train, but I, but I forgot. But in big train, uh, there's um, a whole thing. Oh yeah, we were talking about like um, uh, esports and like uh, how some are. Most more fun to watch than others. Like the Tetris Championship is cool. Uh, Dota not too much, but uh, yeah, in Big Train there's a there's a series of sketches where people uh, are um, having a, a staring contest, but like at the Olympic level, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's I, Olympic it's, staring. It's great. I've, I've I've been seeing these videos of um, slapping contests. Mm. You know, oh you, yeah. You just you see like some big big fat bloke with like hands like the size of someone's head yeah i love this smashing someone like and like knocking them out as well like knocking them to the floor yeah yeah and, uh, like it's it, it's kind of like it's beyond the slap i don't know when you got this guy yeah. like, bare size hands yeah 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 it's <laughs> and, it, and, it, and he's hitting some little skinny dude <laughs> And and this is it's, this is like a televised sport on TV. Yeah, it's in Russia. It's probably I believe. named after the sound, the like the slap sound. Does it still sound satisfying? Uh, oh it's, yes. It's, oh yeah. It's it's crazy. <laughs> no, it's I I love watching this. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Russian because it's uh, everything is in Cyrillic, and I think they speak Russian. I've uh, mm -hmm. I've uh, looked at some stuff that was subbed or dubbed. Uh, Critical has uh, made a few videos about this great sport, and um, yeah, I like when they show the knob top, which is like it's like a, a Russian word for uh, um, replay or when they replay a part, but like a little slow. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> uh, for some reason knobbed up. It uh, makes me laugh every time, and it's great. Oh, yeah, I, I watch so much of it, and um, it's re it's it's more enjoyable than you think. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a mix between Jackass and a boxing match, and there's, it's like really Russian. And it's, there's a lot of shit talking in it as well, isn't there? Like you always get the the, the really. Like big mouth, skinny, skinny cunt, and then he's shit talking to his opponent, and then his opponent just absolutely bangs him out. Yeah, so like, satisfying. <laughs> a massive slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's so funny. Oh, it's so satisfying to watch. I love it. Mother Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe it's, maybe it's in sorry. Ukraine, and the guy has like this whole whole big hands because of Chernobyl or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, drank, he drank some pond water. Yeah, <laughs> exclusion zone slap contest. Do you see that new thing that they discovered? I think it's a fungus, like some kind of little mushroom that feeds on radiation and is like thriving in Chernobyl recently. Well, don't mm. all it's crazy. Don't don't most mushrooms they they can survive in in like rad, uh, radiation? Oh. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's not just surviving. Like the the radiation is making the mushroom more powerful, and he basically feeds <laughs> on radiation. You know, uh, plants feed on radiation, of course. Uh, like the UV radiation from the sun gets turned yeah. into energy by the chloroplasts, and uh, it's kind of like the same thing, except it's like nuclear radiation from the Chernobyl uh, accident, and uh, the the mushrooms are eating it, and they're becoming really powerful. It's fascinating. Okay. 
Well, until Mario comes and jumps. <laughs> I was about to make a similar joke. I, I it's, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for a dude to go like and eat some and gain superpowers. That would be It'll probably big... just get cancer or something instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Oh, I... something <laughs> stupid like cancer. Oh, wow. it's dumb shit. <laughs> there was a noise in my uh, thing, and I thought you you said that he's gonna get cancelled. <laughs> okay yeah 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 but um maybe super cancer like get that again i like he he, he's dying in 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 like horrible pain but he can see through walls like deadpool right doesn't he have cancer what deadpool doesn't he have cancer oh i don't know I, I'm not an expert. Well, he, his body regenerates so quickly that, it, like, I don't think he can die. I know he has. Yeah, he has I think he had like, it. Like, he's got he... all this fucked up shit on his face from having something wrong with him, right? I think he was burnt. Um, oh. Yeah. I think his body was burnt. <laughs> yeah. Do okay. you do you guys remember Burnt Face Man? Yeah. Oh yes. That was so <laughs> good. Burnt Face Man. That that was that was on a. A, a website called badgerbadgerbadger.com dot com. Yeah, it in, was in England. Yeah. And it had it had shit like salad, salad fingers on. Um, it was made by the uh, same guy. Oh, was it? Yes, yeah, so the guy who made salad fingers made burn face man. This- if, if there's um in, in in England, there's a, there's this like urban legend called called Devo. I don't uh-huh. know if you guys have heard of him. The he Bond. Plays- no, no, no. He's he's like this this guy. Um, and he, he goes around pretending to be like a British chav. Like okay. uh, he goes to like music festivals and is drinking like drinking like two pound cider and shit like that. Uh-huh. Um and like starting on people like, Hey dickhead, come here like speaking like an absolute um speaking like an absolute twat. Uh-huh. But he was also in Salad Fingers as well. Oh. Um yeah, I don't know, it's something you should worth you should check out. It's like I don't know. I don't know if you'd understand it, uh, not being from England, but like he, he literally portrays like the biggest, like lower class pieces of scum in British society. <laughs> Interesting. And uh, he he actually like his uh, it's it's all a big act, but um, like you know he, he does it like it's not actually him. His, his real job was a, a primary school teacher, and uh, <laughs> he he actually lost his job because of it. It was um, it was in. It was all over the British news. Like, um, oh well. Wow. His, his students were coming into school and um, like showing all the other all the other schoolmates. Uh, like, oh yeah, this is this is our teacher. Look, he plays Devo, and you can, hey, you fucking dickhead, you gay bastard, and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> that's that's their teacher, and uh, he was in Solid Fingers as well. I see. Well, it's quite quite cool. Did he end up having like a career? Uh, no, no, no. no. no He's no. just like some poor, broke shit poster. Yeah, pretty much. The rest but, like, of his life. Oh, he, he was like he was like a really sensible dude, like in real life. But then, like this, this, the the act that like the person that he plays, it's just it's so funny. Mm. It's like every <laughs> every British person will know who Devo is, and uh, he was also like uh, he, he made music as as the act as well. It was quite cool. Huh. See, this is one of the drawbacks of having the British media dominated by the BBC conglomerate is that, yeah. like, here in the US, he would have had, like, a reality show, a Comedy Central show, like, something after all that. Like, they, like people would have looked out for him and tried to find a way for him to make his money off of being an offensive media figure for the rest oh, of his life. Yeah. Yeah, they... <laughs> I, I think I think because he lost his job and stuff, he, he wanted to like get um, kind of like put away from the limelight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, it, yeah, I guess it worked for some people. Though I remember this guy uh, who was called Ali G, who were doing kind of the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, Ali and, G. <laughs> and then uh, he he did like uh, several movies, like Borat and whatever else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen. That's yeah. The, now he does yeah. all kinds of stuff. Mm. He's like a he did a he did like a whole like uh, drama suspense series about being a uh, like a an agent for like 
the Israeli military, like, uh, like yeah, based uh, on a true story yeah. kind of thing. Mm. I can't oh, yeah. believe the shit he gets away with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like becoming a fucking actor, who does and, that? And Bora, like that's yeah. it's fucked. Yeah, it's so like discriminatory and racist, but <laughs> it, it's it's like normalized because it's Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, he can do he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, it's he's great. he's pretty clever with his like his his satirical message. I think like yeah, uh, like uh, oftentimes he he'll be making a fool of someone you really want to see made a fool of. So you're like. <laughs> It makes it. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit of bias. Yeah. 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 yeah he under he understands this vast invisible line around like what's what's tolerable and what's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. As hosts, though, we should probably get this back. Okay. I think the okay. Teeth, the teeth one is no, actually. The, the teeth one. So number is, one. I think it's true, actually. Oh yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Completely forgot all the questions, so. <laughs> all right, here we go. I mean, um, there are facts yeah. and not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, fact number one a snail can have 25,000 teeth. Uh huh. Fact number two the slime left behind a snail can be used to make incense and is popular in Vietnam. Uh huh. Fact number three snails in captivity can live up to 25 years. <sighs> That's the problem. They all sound true. Before they all sounded I, yeah. fake, and these they all sound true. I I have this idea in my head that I might have heard somewhere that the snails actually like travel on their teeth. Like they use them as some sort of weird limbs. I don't know if that's oh, yeah. correct or not. Yeah, it it so rings a bell. I I kind of think that the first one is true, but again, I also cool. don't. I also don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with the the second one. I think the second one is made up. Okay, I'll go with the third one because I'm I'm, right. I'm starting to I'm starting to sense a pattern, especially in Giles' facts. <laughs> the fake ones, the fake ones, always have more details than the old than the <laughs> ones. So I'm pretty sure the second is the fake one. Who knows, here, man? <laughs> <laughs> So. so, the one I made up is in fact number two. Ah, I fucking uh, knew it. <laughs> the the uh, his little his little uh, trivia. Um, I actually wrote in the slime left behind a snail uh, blocks UV radiation can be used as sunscreen. I thought I'd made that up. <laughs> Quickly googled it. It actually does have UV. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I just had this feeling, and I had to quickly. Damn. Change it. There's some incense on my desk, uh, so that's how that one came about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. Very well done. Very well done. Mm. Interesting though. Yeah, twenty-five thousand teeth. It's just it's nuts. Oh yeah, that is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Very tiny, yeah. slimy little teeth. It must be <laughs> bastard for him to brush their teeth before they go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they, they, yeah. also, they don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't actually physically use a toothbrush and put toothpaste on it. And then if they well, did, they can, they can, can crawl, crawl across, across a toothbrush. Tooth yeah. <laughs> also, s- since they're snails, <laughs> since they're snails, they must be like really, really slow. So, uh, well, they're slow and they have many teeth. Now, I believe that. Brushing their teeth takes the whole day. They don't do anything else. Maybe that's <laughs> that, maybe that's what they do. Like that's what they spend their whole life achieving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. And and their slime can be used to brush uh, your teeth as well. <laughs> it, it does everything. <laughs> do you, I, re- I legitimately can't tell if you just made that up or if it's actual fact. No, I just made that up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like. <laughs> yeah. Just like when in doubt, the the slime from the snail can probably do it. Yeah. It can be sunscreen. It can brush your teeth. It probably could be incense if anybody tried. Yeah. Like it can it probably cures cancer. It probably is a, a pain glows reliever in the dark. stronger than stronger than morphine. Like yeah, yeah. it glows yeah, in the dark. And I <laughs> definitely glows don't in the dark. know if that's true or not. When, Who knows? <laughs> probably. When Giles said that, my my mind went like, oh, that's a funny joke. Wait, is it? <laughs> it's a triple bluff. Get ready. Uh, 
title of your sex tape. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know I, what that means. I saw something funny on Facebook yesterday, and uh, it's a picture of this this guy who goes on Pornhub, uh-huh. and uh, it like titles the videos like tucking in my stepsister. Oh, yeah, oh, I love yeah. that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, red, the redhead guy who wears a tie. Yeah. Yeah, I love reading it. A, <laughs> reading a book to you while you fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I've seen that dude before. He, yeah. he actually made a, a video with, with a porn star, I yep. forget. But it was one of those wholesome things as well. Uh, yeah, I think, they were, <laughs> I think they were in the park having a picnic or something like this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, or yeah. L- looking at clouds. I I can't I can't remember them being like in in some patch of grass. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Funny. He's he's a he's a really huge inspiration for me. Uh, it's because of him. That I, <laughs> it's because of him that I started my Pornhub channel. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, your reviews. So, this is juicy. <laughs> yeah, I started recently and I haven't uploaded much, but basically it's a channel where I sing uh, 18 plus songs and <laughs> and also I stream myself laughing at some terrible NSFW memes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think that, you know, with the, the YouTube censorship and demonetization yeah. and all the copyright claims that that Pornhub will take, actually take over. Absolutely. Mm. As, mm. as a powerhouse platform for videos. like I, Premium I, content. Yeah. I doubt it will happen, but I hope it will happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying to do my part. <laughs> yeah. I better jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> Are we ready for another set of questions? Oh, yes. Okay, this is a set of random facts. They don't follow any uh, (laughs) cohesive theme. The theme is that there is no theme. Um, (laughs) Fact number one, if you could drive your car vertically into the air, it would take one hour to get to outer space. Uh, Fact number two, bubble wrap was originally developed to be a wallpaper. Fact number three, in the town of Mount Sterling, Iowa, it is illegal to tell a lie. Number one's false. Okay. Um, yeah, I think number one's false because it would take maybe 10 minutes. The atmosphere is not that big. Yeah, it's it's only like 17 miles or something is the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, I think, it was, I think it's even less than this. I think like it's like t- 11 kilometers or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, definitely not an hour. Uh, except if you drive slow. Actually, you didn't specify the, <laughs> the speed of the car. I oh, drive. You take the, the scenic route. Because it'll you have really to drive high. around. If yeah. you have to, have you, if you have to <laughs> stop a tire for a halfway through the air. Yeah. Get a get a slurpee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it NASCAR style or is it Grandpa style? <laughs> That that could that could change the uh, uh, yeah and a it, lot. it depends like what car you're driving. Like, yes, could I have a car with square wheels? <laughs> you're going in. Or, <laughs> or, or like I said, you could be driving a Mazda RX-8 with an engine that will break down when you start it up. So <laughs> I, I think it's uh, I think it's it's going to be either a, a cart. Because I, I think if, if you're going with your car to space, it's for going to Rainbow Road. I would, uh, uh, you know, imagine, or maybe hmm. it's like, uh, or maybe it's like uh, this uh, this car that Elon Musk launched into space. Uh, I saw an article about it. Uh, I mean, an article. I saw a tidbit about it, like a, a couple days ago, that said that the car has now uh, traveled a billion miles, making it likely the most travel car ever. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's some Saabs that have done, or some London black, black cabs <laughs> that have done more miles than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and I don't know, if if Elon Musk quoted that, I mean, look what he's just named his new child. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't buy it, man. I don't buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I think we're going to lock in... Um, 
the f- first more. one because the third one there's so many places where there's some stupid lows uh in paris france where i live i know that um there's a law that forbids women to wear pants except if they're on a horse uh, so mm-hmm. yeah every every place is this like there's, there's, weird there's one in my i um i live in york which uh-huh. used to be the the capital of england when the vikings were here Mm-hmm. And they basically built a huge wall around the city, and they made it a law that if there's a Welsh person within the city walls, you can <laughs> shoot them and kill them with a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. Uh, uh, like this is this is like everyone yeah. everyone from my city knows this. Like no one's tested it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No one's tested it, so I don't know whether it's true or not. I don't know, um, but apparently it's 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 a real thing. That would make a great episode of bum fights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Walking around oh, York with a compact bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asking where people are from. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, I guess it's uh, quite where an from. An efficient way of dealing with Welsh immigration. <laughs> uh, oh, did you see that TikTok video from last week? Man, what? TikTok, no. Uh, well, there's like, there, there uh, there's a girl who's like, uh, she's reading comments, you know, uh, and uh, one, one one comment is like, oh, uh, I. I you shouldn't be ashamed of your speech impediment. I think it's really cute. Uh, I love how it sounds, and uh, like uh, it's a lot of people are handicapped. It's it's not shameful. And the girl was like, she was like beat for a few seconds. Like, I'm, I'm Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I I know some Welsh people when I was out in Canada and. I um I never understood anything they said the whole time. <laughs> nice. They don't even speak English. Oh yeah. I took my bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep that motherfucking thang on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I think I I think uh fair answer the questions. Huh? It's false. Number one is false. Number one is false. You guys are both in agreement on that. Uh, yeah. Actually, I would like to hear again number two. Uh, number two, bubble wrap was originally developed to be a wallpaper. I can see it mm. being a wallpaper for like mental patients. You know the people that they lock in these uh, in these rooms, and uh, they yeah, Welsh like... people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. So uh, yeah, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Uh, Silly string was supposed to be uh, a defense weapon, I think. Mm. Oh, it was supposed to be something else, or like uh, like some kind of glue. Uh, but like it didn't work. But they thought it was funny, so they they fired <laughs> they, they they fired the guy, and right after he was fired, it was like actually that could be funny, and they rehired him. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, that's a great story. Uh, Look up the the birth of silly string uh, if you have a machine uh, ready to. Uh, you don't do that if you're driving your car, for, but you like if you're in the bus, do it. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking of the, to the audience, which I shouldn't do, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with number one as well. Yeah. Okay, um, so that one is true. Uh, oh. It's it's uh, d- the distance is about sixty two. Mi- if you're driving your car at sixty miles an hour, um, I didn't specify that, but uh, yeah, uh, I know y'all are on the metric system, right? So um, why I'm, why am I up in here? With I'm, my- I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that the ISS low Earth orbits at like twenty seven miles above the Earth. Yes. No, it's it's what it, if you want to get into orbital space, you got to go about sixty-two miles. Is what the general consensus is on these articles on the internet. Oh, NASA must be wrong. Shit. 
Yeah, but yeah. I, like probably maybe maybe like the um, I don't know. That's like that's when the Earth's gravitational pull ends as far as making things fall, and you're at a safe distance to ah, yeah, because stay in orbit. The, the ISS actually is uh, still under the Earth's gravity because it has to it has to reboost. Um, okay. The gravity yeah. pull. Yeah, so I am wrong. Right on. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's sixty two miles, which is basically a hundred kilometers. Um, mm -hmm. I think I was confused because um, the short one that that we said that is like ten kilometers. I think that's just atmosphere. But then there's also stuff which is uh, not space yet, like the mesosphere or whatever, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, space is real. <laughs> yeah, also that's there's that. But uh <laughs> The moon's just made out of cheese, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The best cheese. <laughs> <sighs> um so yeah, bubble wrap was originally developed to be a wallpaper. It was it was supposed to be a like a sixties fashion thing to like have oh. a like a bubble wrap type of well, um, it, it wasn't so successful as a uh, design, so they turned it into a packing material. It was like really, really thick bubbles behind like big sheets of plastic, not like poppable bubbles. No, like yeah, but I think I, I think I was right because I said it, it, it should have been a uh, for mental patients, and in the sixties, everyone was fucking mental. So yeah, I mean, people in a, in a cool are way. fucking mental. All the time, so. Yeah, but have, have you heard about the '60s? Some weird shit went down. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've heard about the Did '60s. Do you ever see a fucking cookbook from the '60s? Mm. These these people were not sane in the mind. You can. Oh yeah, as far as <laughs> the, all the jellos and. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's a things. here's a yeah. fun here's a fun thing. Like it's a uh, uh, chicken, uh, pineapple, and mayonnaise in aspic. DMT. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What? Yeah. What do you say? D and DMT. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed up with a little LSD and DMT uh, sauce uh, on the side. Oh okay. yeah. The chicken and pineapple cancels cancels it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought, uh, I thought then, you said TNT, oh. which was a bit, which would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> so so the fake one is uh, the, in the town of Mount Sterling, Iowa. It is illegal to tell a lie. Uh, in accordance with the First Amendment right to speech, you can still tell a lie in Mount Sterling, Iowa, but the mayor did try to ban lying in 2003. Oh, huh. wow. America. Yeah. You did well that round. <laughs> Thank <Nailed> you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. What's our score at now? Uh, it is two three. John is on two. Nelson on three. All right. Because no one, no one scored that round. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm gonna get up and um, pour my coffee because it's just been sitting over there. I've been doing this all like bare backing, whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> Raw dogging reality. Okay, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go. F I'm also gonna go for a for a minute because I okay. I want I want to put on socks because my feet are getting cold. Um, I think no one should hang, hang up. We should just leave the call going. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I may get myself um, a glass of water also. So right, uh, play the intermission music. Yeah, Everybody exactly. Keep it's time recording for so we don't have to resync this later. Yeah, it's time for your vibe check. Welcome to the middle of the show. And uh, yeah, sub music. All right, I'm getting my coffee. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, are you the guy from Shitpost, Bot? Uh, no. That's uh, a guy called Reese. He's also Australian. Uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he actually, I, was, I was competing against him when during the last like uh, quiz show episode. Yeah. Uh, I don't, and we were know. both very misinformed. I, 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 I thought that you were the guy from Shitpost, Bot. I don't know why. Well, he's Aussie. Uh, yeah, I guess you're all the same. 
<laughs> yeah. Nah, I, I um when I was in Canada, man, I uh was with a lot of Australians, and they're they're pretty cool dudes. They're crazy though. Where the it's hard for me to know. Like I, I I've been in Australia most of my life, and how yeah. do I say it? Like I'm in, I'm in like a rural place too, so it's just like I I only really see people from the exact same area as me. Nah, in, in we we had a, a lot of bogans. Yeah, you get bogans though. Yep, yeah, they're like there's a bit of bogan in everyone. I think. <laughs> I think it's great. Bogan, like Boganism, like it should be a religion. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's great. Uh, yeah. about oh. being laid back and fucking bantering real hardcore. And driving you. Accidentally used. crossing some personal lines. By yeah. Bantering. Where was fucking... Oh, I'm... it wasn't from Wollongong. It was from another... <laughs> it's from another little small shitty... <clears throat> shitty place that sounds like... In New like... South Wales. Yeah. Fuck, where was it? I'm going to have a look at Facebook. So it was like some really like small inbred. <laughs> inbred fucking... Uh, let me have a look. Australian city. Uh, There's a lot of rural areas, so, but it's just littered with small towns. Uh, yeah, Wagga Wagga, that was it. Wagga Wagga, yeah. 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 <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, they all they all well wore like farmers' clothes. Fucking, they're just so country. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I've had several friends go to go to Canada. There's something about Canada that just draws. I think it's got a similar sort of political and cultural environment. To I, I think they they go for the the winter as well, don't they? A lot. Uh, yeah, the, I'm not sure of the exact reason. The the ski seasons, man. Um, <sighs> a lot of big, a lot of big ski resorts in Canada are owned by Australian families. Yeah, right. Okay. And I think I, I think that's um, that appeals to Australians with it. You know, if it being Australian owned, stuff like that. Yeah, in Victoria, it gets very cold. It never snows, apart from like very specific places. Yeah. I I yeah, man, I didn't know it snowed in Australia until about a year ago. <laughs> yeah, same. Australia's I'll, got a bit of every climate, I swear. And then it has the uh the top ten most venomous fucking spiders and snakes as well. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. So I um I just returned, I put on socks and a pair of pants. I feel very classy right now. Are you naked? Mm. No. <laughs> Usually, when I record a podcast, I have a t-shirt on and my boxers. So yeah. uh, no, I, I usually don't record naked. I don't think I've done it ever. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit cold yeah. right now. It, we have in this crazy fucking weather. We pro you probably have the same because we're basically neighbors. And uh, for like two weeks. We had like it's like uh, oh there's a lot of sun uh, at noon and then in the afternoon a big storm and fucking rain yeah. rains like hell and then it becomes sunny again and then there's wind and more rain like it's uh, in between in Europe man yeah 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 I I let my windows open yesterday night because it was like really hot outside and now uh, it now it's cold as fuck so it's uh, yeah. It's a uh, Russian roulette weather. That's uh, yeah. yeah. That sounds fun. <laughs> that's not what I, <laughs> I. I meant to say roller coaster, not Russian roulette, but <laughs> 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 I guess it works as well. <laughs> I don't worry. I understood you, mate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we can. Uh, um, I I heard Lisa laugh, so I I believe we can start again when I'm here yep when we I mean I'm ready yeah same I have as much clothes on as I care to mm -hmm. it's the BDSM episode after all yeah. yep that's the title of your sex tape <laughs> <laughs>
Do you have any clothes? I, 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 have, I have I have as much clothes on as I as I care to. Schro- Schrodinger's porn. The only clothes I have on is my skin. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, because skin is yeah. just a fursuit for skeletons. So. Exactly. And muscle. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all furries, basically. We could do a strip well, version of this show, but like, it would s- still not be pornographic because we can't see each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could do and that. And then um, I'm the sub. I'm the sub host, so I'm wearing a gym suit. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I is believe it, is, it, is it properly fitted? Uh, no, a little loose. Um, <laughs> I got nothing to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's my round. Okay. The score is a two three. Here we go. This is the sloth round. Sloth number one. Sloth as the animal or sloth as the cardinal scene? <laughs> the animal. Nice. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love I love the choice. <laughs> like the snails, now the sloths. <laughs> I, I can I can sense a pattern here. Uh, but yeah, go on. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Fact number one: sloths can hold their breath for up to forty minutes. Fact number two. Three-toed sloths can turn their heads almost 360 degrees. And fact number three, a sloth communicates by a method similar to Morse code. Huh. Hmm. I think the third one is real because I know that sloths have got terrible eyesight. Huh. So to contribute, like to balance that out, they have, of course, you know, like, like dolphins for like echolocation and shit. Mm. Uh, I think maybe first one is false. All right. I'm going to go with the third one because I'm pretty sure sloths are dumb as shit. So a method of communication as elaborate uh, as Morse code, I don't buy it. They're probably just like... Well, we're, talk- we're talking yell. about tapping, right? Yeah, no, but I-, I know they have terrible eyesight, but they'll probably just yell at each other. Uh, I- I'm, not, I'm not even sure they have a need to communicate. So... Uh, yeah, but they have... How, like, when they're going to reproduce and stuff, can't, they can't just uh, proceed... In the text. <laughs> Some animals are a bit like that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think that in this, um, in this, in this uh, configuration, yelling would work probably better than Morse code. I don't know, but yeah, I think the third. Can you repeat the the second one? I don't know. You said the the head that turns like an owl, thirty sixty degrees. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, no, that sounds kind of believable. Sloths are weird. They have that these weird. They have these um, these hands that look like the the Wolverine from the X Men. Yeah. It's crazy. The, the and um, they, they they move so slowly and like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. There is there's a zoo. I mean, it's not exactly a zoo, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty close to where I live. It's in a place called the Jardin des Plantes. And I've been there a few times, and there was always this sloth that that is just hanging around. He's not in a cage; he's just free roaming. <laughs> it's, it's a sloth. Nobody nobody cares. It's just, <laughs> it's great. Every time it's like one time I saw him like uh, one time I saw him like in the uh, between the tigers and shit. One time he was in the snake room. One time it's, it's, it's just hanging out. It's just there's just this sloth free roaming in the <laughs> place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's great. In the uh, in the in the Melbourne Zoo, they um, for for like people were behaving themselves, and they made this uh, this enclosure for the lemurs, which was entirely free roaming. Mm-hmm. And um, lemurs are incredibly funny to watch. And the I remember entering um, the lemur enclosure, and the lemurs were lining up like people. They were almost like mocking people and just like lining up like them and walking on their back legs, like 
like <laughs> walk, yeah as if they're there like in on the show as well and there, there was another lemur just lying in the middle of the path stretching out just trying to like block people and <laughs> it's, it's awesome to be honest nice. and so when you can have nice things when people are just like aren't idiots yeah mm. so okay you've both given answers here we are yeah. you've chosen three right i have yes I chose yeah. one. And John chose one. The third one is the one I made up. A sloth communicating by... Fucking knew it! The Morse code. Sloth is dumb as... <laughs> sloth is dumb as rocks. Totally. Bleating type sounds. Oh. Babies make bleating type sounds. Babies also make high-pitched squeals. But uh, sloths are also very solitary and can you, will only gather to mate. Can you, can you make... Can you uh, show us... How it sounds? Yes. What? I mean, <laughs> it would be cool if you could like imitate the bleeding. I don't know. The here we go. Um, I guess I'd. Oh, I'd have to link it to. You. I can't like play it through my. You can thing. just. Im, you can imitate you, yeah, it yeah, yeah. with your mouth. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> what imitate we, it with your mouth, sub. The, <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> 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 that was nice. <laughs> Wait, I want to play the real video. He just dropped the link in the chat. Hold on. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll, I'll play that later. I trust him. I'm pretty sure that's the same. Can I? <laughs> I was gonna do it myself. But it's just oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's enough fun for now. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's another point. Two Nelson. Okay. He's you, he's he understands how I think. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. He yeah. knows you too well. Uh, we, I I have an advantage. We've been working together for a long time, and uh, <laughs> and if you ever worked with Giles, you would understand why he chose snails and sloths. There's a there's a very Ooh. clear pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh yeah. admire slow living. Very Freudian. Uh and uh, yeah I just I think He's that got a sex sexual thing for snails and sloths. I like no it. I like no it slow. I, I meant like in <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I, I meant to say like in the subconscious, <laughs> not necessarily sexual, but yeah, oh. I think definitely. Yeah. So it's more Jungian than Freudian. Uh, yeah, I meant like a Freudian slip, you know, but um, yeah. I, I guess probably both. I would okay. not be surprised. Um, so I think that from now on, we should have a... Um, I don't know tradition, a segment or something where we um, have a animal imitation contest. Uh, <laughs> we should we should include that into the game. I think it's great. Animal limitation contest. Yeah, like Im we, imitation. Like, yeah, like oh, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> like you just yeah. did. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. I, I'm going to <laughs> imitate. I'm going to imitate the Afghan dog that speaks English. <laughs> 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 so I am hungry. <laughs> wait, wait, did the dog in that imaginary scenario? Did the dog just like bark yes or no to words, or did he like? No, no, it replied with words. So oh. he knew twenty-five words and could respond to basic questions. And which which twenty-five words did he know? Um, well, maybe I, maybe I didn't go that deep into the, uh, <laughs> constructing that fact. Uh, because Coco couldn't actually speak. She could just like indicate no, know, yeah. that she understood. So that's what I was figuring about this imaginary dog <laughs> that I want to know more about. Maybe I didn't go that deep title of your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only wearing as much clothes as I care to. <laughs> Su subtitle. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, jo John, you're gonna have to catch up. Here okay. You're, you're two points behind. 
Okay, well, uh, here's your chance. We've got a set of questions. These ones are all oriented around laws and regulations. Wow. Mm. Okay, uh, fact number one. Pilots are not allowed to take Viagra within six hours of flight. Uh, fact number two. It is illegal to chew cum in Singapore. <laughs> fact number three. Uh, Canadian pop stations are required to play at least 35% of music by Canadian artists. Do you oh, say, I, I do you say the third one is real? Okay. Uh, uh, no, go, go on, John. Well, I I spent quite a long time in Canada, and I know that a lot of Canadian artists play on the radio because the majority of it is country music from Canadian artists. Hmm. So hmm. I think that's true. Um, yeah, uh, it definitely sounds true to me as well because we have a same low in France and radios are... Um, mandatory um, required to play at least 50% French artists um, yeah. I think it started like in the 90s like it's it started a very long time ago so um, yeah. it must be nauseating yeah uh, it's bad music Canada. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay, okay, it's um, right. it's it's the radio, so it's always gonna be bad music. Yeah. Um, well, mm. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I I was listening to some adverts on the radio, and a fucking song came on. I was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the song's trying to sell you something too these days. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell the difference. It's like in Demolition Man. Have you seen Demolition Man? Oh, I love Demolition Man, and uh, mm -hmm. it's in the future, and uh, music has been banned. It's illegal to listen to music, so instead, people just listen to advertisements. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what we're doing at the moment, anyway. Yeah. Mm. Every time you turn the radio on, there's some cunt trying to say you're a fucking kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Well, the ads play before YouTube videos if you don't have premium. Oh, it's, it's just inescapable. Oh, you get ad blocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. phones, though, it's weird. I don't know how I haven't figured that out yet. There's, a, there's an app you can get through the F-Droid or the G-Droid store oh, called New Pipe. I'm and advertising right now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> We're, well, we're I mean, now. yeah, I guess so. But it, it allows you to avoid all the advertisements on YouTube, oh, and fun. you can. And you, it's basically like an app that lets you do the premium. You can play uh, things on background without having to, um, you know, actually watch the video. Mm. You know, play it more like a media player. But yeah. Anyway, that's quite awesome. handy. Mm -hmm. What was that called again? Sorry. Uh, new pipe, and it's available on the F Droid or the G Droid store. So you got to download the F Droid or G Droid app, and then from there you can download New Pipe. Whoa. Okay, I just want to uh, go back to that. The second question you you said something about chewing cum. Yeah, it is illegal to chew gum. <laughs> <I'm> gum. <laughs> gum. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I heard you chuckle at that when she said it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, because I thought like with the Viagra, it was like kind of in line. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was illegal <laughs> to chew gum, and I was like, what? So yeah. it's, in Singapore, it's illegal to chew gum. What was the? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, okay, do you want me to go through all of them or uh, just that one? Yeah, I remember the first one was about pilots. First uh, one, pilots Viag are not allowed to take Viagra within six hours of flight. Number uh -huh. two, it is illegal to chew gum in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. And number three, Canadian pop stations are required to play at least 35% of music by Canadian artists. Um, so I'm 99% sure that the second one is true because Singapore are kind of obsessed with cleanliness yeah and like mean, yeah 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 and so having people like chew gum like on the street and maybe like throw in their gum like on the pavement or stuff like this they wouldn't have it they are really it's cleanliness is like the core value of singapore so i think the second one is the most believable ones um I also know that viagra has an effect on uh blood pressure blood 
and yeah. Uh, yeah so it, it, it's but six hours I don't know I don't know the the the, the first one sounds like a a, a bluff um, like it it sounds believable but not quite in my opinion and the third one it, I would not be surprised at all because in France we have the same thing and I would not be surprised if it existed in many countries so I'm gonna go with the first one with the Viagra okay John how are you feeling I think the third one is false okay final answers yeah well. Y'all are both wrong. I faked you out on the gum chewing because um, mm. I've often heard that about it's legal, illegal to chew gum in Singapore, but I looked it up. Actually, you can chew gum in Singapore, but the sale of chewing gum is prohibited other than nicotine gum for people who are quitting smoking, which can be prescribed by a doctor. The ban started in the 80s when vandals were sticking chewed gum to the door sensors on subway cars to be able to ride for free. They were also causing maintenance problems in public housing buildings by putting their gum in keyholes, elevator buttons, and mailboxes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, vi pilots can't take Viagra within six hours of flight. This is because Viagra can have an effect on color vision, and they will see the world with a bluish tinge for several hours. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Not to mention... Yeah. No way! Okay, so that's much weirder than I expect. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is fascinating. Not to mention they'll be hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they start, you know... Uh, Seems inconvenient. Uh, uh, if they uh, so grab the wrong uh, joystick. <laughs> yes, thanks. That's what I was trying to say, but the word. <laughs> um, I couldn't grab the right word. Uh, <laughs> but yes, yeah, it's, it's fascinating what you say about Singapore. I think this kind of vandalism mm -hmm. is like really advanced. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what about? Uh, did you did you guys hear about that trend? of people in China that like to piss on elevator buttons. <laughs> Apparently, no? it's, it's so common that a lot of um, Chinese elevators have like some kind of piss detector uh, that shuts <laughs> down the elevator or something like that. No, yeah, it's crazy. That's interesting. Um, That's not the word I would have used, but thanks. <laughs> the, the Canadian um, pop stations, it's its a really interesting, intricate set of regulations here. So if less than 35% of all music broadcast each week consists of instrumental selections, at least 35% of popular, popular music must be Canadian content. So I guess techno stations are safe. Huh. Um, if at least 35%, but less than 50% of all music broadcast each week consists of instrumental selections, at least 20% of all popular music must be Canadian. If more than 50% of all musical selections broadcast are we each week are instrumental, at least 15% of popular music broadcast must be Canadian content. So it depends on how much has singing versus no singing. Wow, that's crazy. That's um, yeah. Like, if you want to have an ambient lo-fi station, you can just go all, <laughs> all Russian, all yeah. Croatian music. Yeah, actually, no. That, that you have well, is is lo-fi ambient lo-fi considered popular? Um, but it wouldn't have any words. It's all instrumental, so. right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you consider ambient music to be popular, at least fifteen percent of those ambient lo-fi artists have that's to be Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think probably you hear a lot of Drake and Justin Bieber on Canadian stations because sure. they're both Canadian. Celine Dion. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I think I would just say fuck it and only listen to these Russian number stations at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you ever listen to the. the I love the stations. It's the. Uh, like, Russian stations? Yeah. There's like these. They're called number stations and it's just people saying numbers all day long. Nice. It's and yeah. Sukhobliat in between. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Chiki briki. Eh babushka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, borscht. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Giles, I you got this. more. Okay, well, no one scored that round, so scores are the same. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there'll be a chance for bonus points or something like Fuck. that. This is the this is my last round. Do you have a round after me, Lisa? I do. Yep. Okay, cool. The theme is irony. Mm. Oh, vaporwave. <clears throat> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Fact number one: In Africa, the Congo chimpanzee conservation zone actually has no chimpanzees living in it. Fact two, on Valentine's Day in South Korea, only women give gifts, not men. And fact number three is a mouthful. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> Hippopoto monstro sesquipedaliophobia is the fear of long words. <laughs> oh, the irony. Monstro the irony. Sesquipedaliophobia. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, the irony. Oh, so I've got to, I've got to go with the third one. (laughs) (laughs) Just because of how ironic it is. (laughs) (laughs) Too fucking ironic. (laughs) Uh, So you, you're locking that in. Yeah, yeah. I I have to, like, I have to just, just to make myself happy. I'm, I'm going to let you do that because I'm an asshole and I know for a fact that number three is true. Uh, so, uh, number one just sounds true and like I kind of want it to be true. Like I hope it's true. So I'm going to go with number two. Uh, can you repeat it? I'm just, I proceeded by elimination, yeah. but yeah, it's uh, gone. On Valentine's Day in South Korea, only women give gifts, not men. Yeah. I, I know that on Christmas in Japan, people go to KFC, and uh, no, we so do we. Apparently, about yeah. That. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the second one. Yeah, I think that's the, the fake one. Okay, locked in. Uh, I made up the first one. Oh, there is no Congo chimpanzee conservation zone. Oh, okay. Probably because they all got fucking poached. <laughs> yeah. the story yeah. for any conservation zone in Africa I think the Congo yeah. has much bigger issues going on right now and <laughs> doesn't really have the energy to think about the fucking chimpanzees yeah. it's more of a Tanzania thing yeah, 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 Hi- yeah. hippopotamonstro sesquipedaliophobia there you go Yeah. who the hell came up with that <laughs> some asshole. <laughs> some a- some asshole can't. in an ivory tower somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have a fear of long words. We we diagnose it this way, actually. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Mm. yeah uh, I'm not sure about the, the beginning of the word because that's really weird, but uh, sesquipedalia means verbose in Latin, so that's uh or loquacious you know so that, but wh- that, why hippo I yeah, like yeah that's like weird because that means horse that means horse so uh, doesn't make any fucking sense really yeah so like yeah, mo- yeah. Ho- horse and monstro yeah mo- like monstro is pretty monstro is pretty transparent and uh monster horse verbose yeah that's weird also hippo is uh um uh, fucking greek no, no, I, I believe it's uh, sometimes they 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 put a Greek root and a Latin root in the same word. That always it's it's hard, man. What I about hate like it. the Hippocratic Oath, or is that a different hippo? That's different. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. His mate, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's from from a guy named Hippocrates. And, uh, Hippocrates, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically the equivalent of the contemporary name Philip. So, hmm. Philip. What, what about hypocrite? Oh, yeah. That's, well, I, I um, think that's also term, named for Hippocrates, right? The term, <laughs> the term comes from like uh, medical professionals where they 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 swear <laughs> to the the Hippocratic <laughs> oath that they don't release patient's information if i'm correct oh i see <laughs> um and then obviously to be a hypocrite is to to not do that uh, mm. yeah. um i don't know if that's right but that's what i know it as <laughs> um it's what we were talking about it at school when i 
school years ago. Um, and I, I, I do think that that is the correct term. I might be wrong. Mm. Um, I feel the need to be better educated right now. Uh, yeah, the Hippocratic Oath, uh, if we are being serious, is uh, first to do no harm. You know, it's mm. um, it's. Uh, I think it was discussed like in House MD and Scrubs, and uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty common trope, even if it's not really. Um, it's it's not really. Uh, Hippocrates believed a lot of weird shit, like um, uh, like being being mental came from the uterus or mm. stuff like this. And uh, there's a it, correlation. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. But he also <laughs> believed that the Earth <laughs> was the center of the universe, which is, I mean, technically undisprovable. But uh, he he also believed that the sun revolved around it, so that's you know. Okay, I have I have an answer on the origin of this word from um, some random software, so, uh, some random sophomore at Harvard. If you want to hear his explanation. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, Hippotomon... Uh, that word is the fear of long words. I know it seems cruel. However, it is also wonderfully whimsical, and that's where I come in. The word, first of all, is erroneous. The correct spelling is uh, different. I can't Spell say that it. word either. Spell it. H H I P P O T. Wait, H I P P O P O T O M O N S T R O S E S Q U I P E D A L I O P H O B I A. I know what it. I know what it comes to. <laughs> Penny. <What? laughs> um. But now the former is more common. It may, the the original, the uh. first one we heard, uh, it may even be that the word is altered to make it longer and thus more ironic. Yeah. Now let's break it up. Hippo and monstro being obvious prefixes alluding to hippopotamuses and monsters, respectively, were also added to blow the word even more out of proportion. Oh. Technically... You don't even need them for the meaning, though they are indeed now part of the word. <laughs> Sesquipedaliophobia says it all. The root is Latin. Uh, the root word is Latin. Sesquipedalis, which meant a foot <laughs> and a half long. A portmanteau <laughs> of sesqui, one of my favorite Latin words meaning 1.5, and pedalis pertaining to feet. Phobia we all know as an irrational fear. It's pretty evil to make people afraid of the length. Just yeah. go into the way and be like, oh, can I have a, a sesquialis meatball marinara, please? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, See how that the, goes down. The, so, <laughs> the only words that really mean anything in this are uh, foot and a half long words. And the hippo and monster uh, were just added on for effect. Yeah. So it was just an asshole, like <laughs> trying to make fun of someone, make someone just start to quiver. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Karens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to fuck with some Karens who can't handle foot and a half long words. <laughs> <laughs> Television is another example. It sucks. Yeah, I don't like television. Because yep. no, um, yeah. So because tele comes from Greek and vision comes from Latin, so you mm -hmm. should you shouldn't mix like this. It's yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty gross. You shouldn't mix. That's yeah. the uh, name of your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so are we ready for more questions? The final round. Yes. Wait, did we okay. give our answers? I forgot. Oh, did you? Oh, God. I thought we were already well into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, yeah, we got them. Um, yeah, I made up the uh, Congo chimps. Oh, yeah, the chimps. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> so what's our final score so far the, for the um, if, question? It's the, if I reveal the score, we'll know that um, the, uh, the, the, the suspense will disappear. 
So let's just say there's, a, there's an even chance that this um, round may so cause a winner already, on either side. Somebody's already won. Yeah, I thought. No, 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 there's a... Uh, no, let's, I, I, I keep the tally in my mind and I have three and John has two, so he can still yeah, but tie. I, I also said that I don't need the extra point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Well, but maybe let's, let's maybe create some sort of lightning thing. <laughs> maybe next next round I'll give an answer that is so wrong that they put a point <laughs> away from me. Yeah, like, okay. they subtract points. Yeah, it should it should so, be a thing. We should put that right in a now. Row. We right now we could tie or Nelson could win. Yeah, if we yeah. if we tie, we, could, if you we have it? to do some kind of sudden death. Yeah. Animal noise uh, competition. <laughs> yeah, if... Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> rabbit sounds. <laughs> Do okay. rabbits make sounds? They make these yep. little squeaky sounds and uh, they'd oh. be very cute to imitate. Okay. Mm. I don't like rabbits. Yeah. I'm not an expert <laughs> either. I got bit by one. Oh. Uh-oh. That sucks. That's rude. Yeah. So I skinned it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really. I cried. <laughs> Rough. I got bit by a horse once. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm also scared of horses. Like right they're, they're mm. dating. Yeah. They just don't need to be that big, really, do they? Yeah, that's mm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Not anymore. Uh, what? <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> They serve their purpose. They can shrink down now. If they... <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Once a horse stepped on my foot. Um, Oof. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a hoof. Yes, and um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, there was uh, like it was raining a little bit, so the the ground was muddy, and uh, but like my my boot, I had like plastic boots on, and it went like so deep into the floor the the mud earth thing that yeah i i it took me like 15 minutes to to get my foot out of that shit oh yeah okay but yeah fortunately like pressure it was, was keeping in there fortunately it was very muddy so uh, i uh, uh yeah exactly yeah yeah but um i know someone who had uh, uh who got stepped on and like uh, the foot was like fucking destroyed like every fucking bone was broken. It's, uh, yeah, horses. My, my, <clears throat> go ahead. I, um, I was feeding a, a a horse that was blind in one eye. <laughs> and, you know, because they they can't see forward unless they tilt their head. Oh no, huh. to the side. Sorry. Um, huh. I fed it from the side that it had its blind eye, and it fucking just turned around. Its head smashed right into me, yeah. and it. And it hurt. Biting the hand that feeds that very that's really slow. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, no. Headbutting them. Fucking scumbags. Yeah. That's, <laughs> they have no honor. Scumbags. <laughs> yeah, remember when they put horse meat in the meatballs in IKEA? Yeah, was, yeah, I thought was. I was I thought I was cool because I, I hate horses, so I went to IKEA and <laughs> ate a lot. Shitload of meatballs. <laughs> there was a there's a supermarket chain called I think it was Tesco that did it in England and uh, apparently horse meat was found in their burgers mm. uh, and like Tesco is is a huge like supermarket chain in England uh, uh, as big as like uh, Walmart in America or like Carrefour mm. in France. Mm. And yeah, there's Tesco in Malaysia as well. Is it really? Huh. Yeah, yeah. I was buying from Tesco in, in Malaysia. Wow. I did not know that. I thought it was like an all British thing. But yeah, they they had burgers with horse meat. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently it's like cleared for eating. It's not like... Um, oh, yeah. It's, it's uh, not quite like pigs for Islam. Well, Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. When you when you buy a beef burger, you expect beef. Oh, you want a beef? If they're selling it as a beef burger, 
if they if they sold it as mystery mate then yeah <laughs> no, i'm done like, i don't know like, people have an emotional connection to horses i guess it's like it's like eating oh, yeah, cats yeah. or dogs is how they think i get of it, that I guess. but they but do that in mean. like <laughs> countries as well <laughs> would y'all eat a would, would y'all eat a sloth burger no mm. no it'd probably t- taste like fruit or something endangered animal probably illegal It'll make you slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll make Maybe I've been like even uh, worse. I didn't know they were endangered. Uh Oh, they're really. Um, let me check. Yeah, pull that shit up, Jamie. <laughs> uh three-toed slots are classified as critically endangered. Oh, okay. What about the other kinds of slots? The way, yeah. I guess they must be fine. Just throw them on the barbecue. <laughs> Just watch them try and get away before they're cooked. <laughs> they wouldn't. They wouldn't be able to get away. And then you find oh. out they can move. They can actually move quick. It's all an axe. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like hedgehogs. Have you ever seen how fast they are? <laughs> no. It's fucked. They're crazy. It's like Sonic. I think yeah. you're. I think. Yeah, I think you're thinking about the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Not really? Yeah, yeah. I believe they're, it. They're really fast. <laughs> huh. <laughs> like, they, they, they're really, really fast, man. Like, it's, you, you know, you see them, like, in the middle of the road, and you're like, oh, they're a shit animal. They're slow. They're, they're, too, <laughs> they're too retarded to move out the way. But as soon as you, as soon as you see a hedgehog outside, it, it's fucking gone. Yeah, if you, like, it, if you hit it, it with your car, it's going to go fast, I believe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, it's funny like in my in my village um when it when i drive past like the the school there is just always roadkill outside it oh. and it's like a 20 mile an hour zone and there's always roadkill on them like someone is hitting and killing animal in front of a school you know where children are playing Oof. yeah that's time. that's a good life lesson that's how you learn <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what a time to we be have on. a we have a kidnas we have a kidnas here in um um choose name for Australia or insert name for Australia here um <laughs> they're really they're really slow they're not not like Sonic at all not like Knuckles mm. rather final question yeah here we go. <laughs> Okay, this one is about internet stuff. First fact, the first item sold on eBay was a toaster. Fact, the inventor of Comic Sans only used it once to send an angry letter to his internet provider. (laughs) Fact, (laughs) you're more likely to get a computer virus from visiting a religious website than a porn website. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's tough. I'm going to go with the second uh, one. It's uh, the, the third one just sounds too believable. Like there's no mm-hmm. way it's this one is not true. And the first mm-hmm. one uh, I think it's not elaborate enough to be a lie. So I'm going to go with the second one. What was the okay. first one again? Toaster on eBay. Ah yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See, I'm a bit bamboozled now. <laughs> uh, fuck. I don't know. I'm gonna have to guess. Well, I'm gonna yeah. have to guess. Uh, I'll probably just go with the third one. Okay. No, 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 no. This is for falseness, isn't? It? No, the second one. I go with the second. One. So we got. Guys are both going with Comic Sans. Yeah. Okay. Final answers. Uh, yeah. well, no, it, it's not funny if we choose the same answer because we're we would. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, gonna I'll I'm go gonna change my uh, I'm gonna change my answer and oh, you want to change it you, also? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I, I'll lose for you. No, I know. No, uh, <laughs> I, I think it would be funny. I think it would be funny if we tied and have to to do a sudden death thing. Uh, okay. So I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to make the game 
funny. <laughs> but uh, okay, okay. Both go for two. <laughs> you guys are both trying to throw the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the first one. Okay. Right. And I'm going for two. Okay, Nelson, you're going for toaster. Yeah. John, you're going for Comic Sans. Yep. Um, Nelson, you win! Oh! Um, the first <laughs> item sold on eBay was actually a broken laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Wow! Um, I, tr the, I, tr I, tried, I tried to lose, and I won. Does, it, <laughs> does this mean I succeeded or I failed? Uh, you succeeded at That's a failing. paradox. <laughs> it's all relative. No, I think that's um, failing. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole video you can watch about it, why this guy wanted to buy a broken laser pointer. Um, he had a good reason for it. He was yes. he was trying to find a laser pointer to fix up as a project. So, huh. um, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the inventor of Comic Sans, yeah, only only used it once to send an angry letter to his internet provider. He hated the font as much as the rest of us, and <laughs> thought it would piss off his inter internet provider. And I think they ended up complying with his demands. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a kind of a, deranged. I'm kind of a typography nerd, so I remember the history and uh, the the man who I believe is called Vincent Conar uh, created the font to look like. Uh, the handwriting of a popular uh, Batman cartoonist. That's why it was called Comic, because it was inspired by comics, and it was uh, invented... Sans serif. It was, uh, yeah, it was uh, invented for the purpose of being used in comic books. Uh, and, uh, and then the execs at Microsoft thought that it looked... Um, really non-threatening, so they should, so they should use it in Windows to make uh, computers more welcoming for people who don't know technology. And they thought it would be like it, it's cute and quirky, so even people who were afraid of computers would be uh, more, uh, uh, you know, interested in them and f would feel more like welcome. Uh, so yeah, that's the that it was not supposed to be put into Windows. It was supposed to be used by comic book publishers only. And yeah, well, that's probably probably why he uh, he only used it to write angry letters or that one angry letter because <laughs> he thought it was stupid. Um, yes, it is really ugly, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's crazy because for some reason. It is the most readable font for people who are dyslexic. Hmm. It's used. It's I used. Use it my, it's crazy. Yeah. I wrote my final year dissertation for university in Comic Sans. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Did you hate your teachers or? I, mean, I just wrote a five thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> and uh, and yes, you are more likely to get a computer virus from a religious website than a porn website. Religious websites have three times more malware than pornography websites, according to security firm Symantec. Not surprised in the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the I don't have this info pulled up in me, but I I saw somewhere that. Um, Apparently, the reason is that porn websites are more often profit-driven, and they want you to come back. Uh, religious websites are just kind of thrown up uh, haphazardly by various crazies, and um, they don't aren't very profit or security-driven. So, are you yeah, easily infected? Are you seriously implying that religious websites are not profit-driven? Because I really <laughs> do not buy this, pun intended. Uh, I, I think there are more religious websites percentage-wise that are just fanaticism-driven and aren't really out there with a business plan. They're more yeah, out there to that. just profess how they feel. Or a uh, local yeah. pastor or something, just uh, making a little yeah. website for the town church chapel yeah. thing. Yeah, just like some rando with a theory about Jesus that just wants to have it up there. People just do that on Facebook nowadays. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I don't know. The the ones the ones that are Facebook phobic are still creating actual websites and putting their shit on there. Yeah. So, I wouldn't anyway, be surprised, yeah. Do not do not look at religion kids, you're gonna get a virus. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. Dangerous. And yeah. and it'll give you hair on your palms. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's like the old, the old uh, superstition about masturbating is that'll make you grow hair on your palms. Oh, hey, like, okay. Mm. See, okay. Yeah, I, I thought porn is yeah. actually safe, so it's religion that's going to give you hair on your palms uh, and a virus in your computer. Okay, mm. okay. I, I I heard it would give you heroin palms, and I thought it was some kind of <laughs> some kind of disease that drug addicts uh, contract. Yeah, sweatiness, heroin palms. I don't know. Got heroin palms. Yeah, your hands become really clammy or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, heroin. Okay, here in France, uh, uh, the urban legend is that uh, masturbation makes you deaf. Oh. Yeah, I've uh, or blind as well. Yeah, I've heard blind. I think blind is like blind. in uh, in in U the UK. Yeah, I uh, should have said what did you say or something to that effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. That that that's a, the classic joke. People do it all the time. They will mumble something, and the the other person will say what, and they say ah, you know what they tell, you know what they say. Uh, it's, it's a classic yeah, pro it's a very classic prank it, uh, nowadays it means you're a simp or something <laughs> you're giving your life force away for free <laughs> real men just go and grab women and rape them or what like what <laughs> a real man becomes deaf because they listen to too much stop step swag <laughs> <laughs> wob wob. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we should wrap up, fellas. It's a very enjoyable moment, but uh, yeah, the three hours episodes, uh, we should cut back on this because it's just. <laughs> it's a you pain to. Up I into, agree. You can break this up into a two parter. No, you yeah. Can do, you but. Can, no? Make it three parts, and then <laughs> make it three parts. And be like, for parts two and three, donate two hundred and fifty dollars. That's a great idea. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? You want to know who wins? Yeah, you got to send the, the, all the V bucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, fans only, only fans. Yes. Mm. Do you? Yeah. I, I tried to make an only fans recently, and I, and I got they, they refused it. For your rats? Yes, yes. I tried to make an OnlyFans for my rats because <laughs> uh, I post rat pictures and videos all the time, and I and I thought, why not make an OnlyFans for this? Uh, people would prove it's probably a good idea, and uh, yeah, they refused it because my I ID card is like too old or some shit like this. Like they they, they it's really tight the security. Uh, if you want to make an account, they, you got to provide so much shit. And uh, and yeah, they said that my ID card is too old, so I got I got to go to just, the to the just mayor. Just send them a picture of your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> One of my um, followers asked for my OnlyFans link because I posted a picture of myself in a T-shirt with corn print all over it. Corn and print. Yeah, yeah, oh, like yeah. little cartoon corns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he asked, yeah, he asked for my OnlyFans link, and I was very offended, but also very flattered. Go put that on Corn Hub. Country girls. Corn, <laughs> corn Hub. <laughs> corn hub. <laughs> Country girls make do. Yeah. Mm. That's a good one, actually. That Corn mean. Hub. It should, should be a thing. Hard corn. I, corn. I can post the first pictures on it. I'm, I'm like, I'm collecting more things that have to do with corn, like have in my you, physical possession. Have you guys seen the the page on Facebook called "Corn is the best crop"? Yeah, <laughs> absolute classic. Absolute so classic. it's it's a gold mine. It's a gold. Yeah, mine. yeah I, I love the one, the video that they posted when there was like some guy in a train 
and uh, yeah, and he's swearing at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he's fr- when he's in front of Corn, it's like yeah, yeah. And it was oh, like yeah, when he's yeah. in front of Wheat, yeah. like boo, the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So great. Oh man. <laughs> I follow the page that's just called Corn straight up, but I'm yeah. now I'm following the other one too. It's yeah, a great yeah. page. It's a great page. There's a kind of a, a bitter memory for me Whoa. when we talk about this. Be- what? Oh no! I just saw a picture from this corn uh, page. Corn uh-huh. is the best the, with the corn dildo, or yeah, yeah. Did oh, that okay. scare you? I was like it, a little intimidated, to be honest. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The black, the big black corn dildo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, that 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 triggers bitter memory for me because you probably know uh, this. Um, this video about a, a guy with corn rows eats corn while listening to corn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, uh, I've seen that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's like an absolute classic from the old internet, uh, maybe from uh, before YouTube existed. And um, <laughs> so. I, I, I tried to do a not a parody but like a reference to this video and I and I was like um, it's it was myself eating a kebab while I was listening to remove kebab <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and and YouTube striked me for hate speech oh mate you should no, you should have no. Turkish man <laughs> eating kebab while listening to remove kebab yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah to pack alive in Serbia by Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Tupac. Yeah, I reckon Tupac is alive in Serbia making music. Uh, yeah, every everyone knows that. 